Hello, hello, Sarah of SEK Handmade here, my friends. I have such a fun technique for you today. I'm going to show you how to take a stitch marker that is intended for knitting and turn it into a crochet stitch marker. Let's go. I absolutely love the company Sunrise Grove on Etsy. They have so many gorgeous laser cut wooden tools for crafters, but they focus mostly on knitters. So I'm always a little disappointed that their stitch markers only come in knitting options. I made a purchase from them a little while back and they sent me a really adorable set of stitch markers as a little gift along with my purchase. And so I thought I'd show you how I'm gonna take these stitch markers, turn them into crochet stitch markers so that I can use them every day. The supplies for this project are super simple. You're just going to need one or two, probably two would be best, sets of small needle nose pliers. Now, I'm sure it won't surprise you to find out that I have done all the crafts. And so I did jewelry crafting for a while. And so I have several sets of different types of pliers. These are round, these are tilted, and this is just like a little regular old mini uh, needle nose pliers. Any and all of these will work. You can even go into your toolbox and get a couple pair if you have some. I do want to warn you though, just to be careful because your regular needle nose pliers usually have these grips on them and you can kind of bend and snag the metal with those and you're not going to want that snagging your yarn later. So just be careful. I'm going to go with these two pair today because they are smooth on the inside and I won't risk doing any damage to the metal that might snag my work later. The other thing that you're going to need is the finding you're going to use to change the stitch markers to work with crochet. These lever clasps are my favorite kind. They open really easily and then stay open until you're ready to close them. And then once they're closed, they're good to go. You could also get a little lobster clasp just like is on this one. Either is totally fine and you can find both of them at your local craft store and lots of places online. All right, so let's get started turning this into a crochet stitch marker. The first thing you need to do is find the split in the ring that's already on your stitch marker. I'm gonna put one of my pliers on one side of the split and then you could just hold with your fingernails depending on how tough this metal is and how strong your fingers are. I'm gonna go ahead and just put my other plier on the other side of that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to open that split by twisting it side to side. What you really don't want to do is to pull those ends apart from each other it deforms the little ring there and makes it really hard to get a nice tight fitting again. So instead of pulling them apart, you want to twist them side to side. Once you've got that twisted open, it's super simple to slide the new finding onto that ring, grab your pliers again, and simply twist it back until that ring lines up perfectly again. Adjust that ring until those are lined up really flush with each other, and you should have a really nice, smooth edge there. And for very inexpensive and not a lot of work, you have a stitch marker that's ready to use with your crochet. Good luck with all your stitch marker making, and happy crafting!